General Hospital Spaller for Thursday, April 17, Bridget Johnson Jacks reassure Gina Robinson. Gina still can't forget the death of Spencer Gazdai. Gina has been living in pain since returning from that boat of life and death. Gina has hoped that one day Spencer's body will be found, but what Gina hopes for more is that Spencer is alive and return. Speaking of Spencer. The actor who plays Spencer, Nicholas Alexander Chavez, will not return. Even though Chavez and G H contracts are still in place, but it's possible another actor will take on the role of Spencer, and perhaps Spencer will return at the end of April. Back to Jocelyn and Trina's conversation. They will be interrupted by Dex Howler when Dex accidentally pumps into them. Trina wants to know the details of why Jocelyn and Dex broke up, and Jocelyn doesn't hesitate to spill all the beans. Jocelyn is still worried about Dex. Jocelyn knows Dex is trying to become a bliss of his shares. Jocelyn also knows Dex to do things because of Jocelyn. Dex wants to prove that he is a good person, and what Dex has done in the past was because he was forced. Jocelyn thinks Dex is running into danger because it's clear that Jocelyn's stepfather, Sonny Carandel, definitely wants to take Dex down. Since Dex worked for the BCPD, Dex would disadvantage Sonny if Dex was the BCPD chief of a bell Sonny's crime. Elsewhere, Jordan Asford receives attention from another man. It turns out that Brick has developed feelings for Jordan, but Brick won't act rashly. They are friends first. And it seemed like they are getting along really well in the near future. They went out to eat and hang out together. Then they talked about the bad suffering they had experienced. After that, unconsciously they liked each other, but that won't happen soon. In the immediate future, both will feel like each other. However, both of them will hide this admiration and try to appear as natural as possible. Gregory Chase's condition is deteriorating day by day. Two people who care about Gregory's, Alice, David, and Hamilton Finn, will support each other during this time. What they have to accept this is that. Gregory will die sooner or later because AOS basically has no cure. Finn denies Alyssa about the process of returning to being a lawyer. Alyssa admitted that the difficulties do persisted, and that Alyssa would not sure she would succeed. Damon, Spinelli, and Maxie Jones are getting closer after Felicia Scorpio tried to push the boat. Felicia knew what her daughter Maxie was worried about. Felicia's untied the knot and advised Maxie to follow her heart. Maxie then decided to risk everything to live with Spinelli. Of course, Spinelli also promised that Spinelli would never hide any secret again. Speaking of ongoing couples, Harry's and Jane's Brooklyn Courtman are also getting to know each other better. Their problem is financial, and they both agree to manage that problem well together before their marriage officially takes place. Laura Collins and Anna Devent have difficulty thinking about what Sonny Corinto did. They draw the lines as to whether Sonny must accept the punishment of the law or not. In fact, they don't know. For sure, whether Sunny is a good person or a bad person, after so many of Sunny's crimes, are crashly reviewed.
Cyrus Renard and Yves Laura and Anna some news regarding Sonny's crime. Then they determine what they to do. What they have to do now, so Sonny's will soon be in trouble. Additionally, Rick will provide some information regarding Chase and Morgan to Sonny. Rick could probably figure out that Chase was working for the FBI. That brings great danger to Sonny if Chase is indeed a secret traitor.